Hey everybody, it's Jonathan. Gonna do another little presentation here on bonds. Great trade right now. There's a right and a wrong way to trade fixed income. The same way with oil, there's a right and a wrong way to trade. Let me walk you through the fixed income trade because if you're just looking at the tenure or the bond contract and you're just trading those in isolation just by themselves and you're just betting whether they go higher or lower, maybe you're trading off technicals, you're playing off momentum using an indicator. That's really dangerous, guys. It's really dangerous. People trade these full time for a living. Let me show you exactly what the approach is and see if it resonates with you. So let's look at the yield curve. Okay, we have the two year, we have the five year, we have the 10 year, we have the 30 year, and then the ultra contract. Now, Instead of betting whether something goes higher or lower, what we want to do is we want to trade the relative difference. And by that, I mean fives, tens. Think of it as a rubber band. Once in a while, it'll move like this and the tenure will be up here. Well, when that happens, if you want to sell an interest rate future contract, well, you want to sell the tenure. If you want to hedge that position, if you want to protect that position, you could also buy a five year to protect. You can buy a ZB to protect. The point is we don't want to just gamble and guess which direction bonds are going to go, right? I can't imagine there's a lot of edge in doing that. So sure, maybe you can make money do that, doing that, but is it sustainable? Is it scalable? I don't know. What I want to do is, this is the yield curve, looks just like that. If I draw it again, once in a while, when it gets a little kinky, we'd want to sell what's expensive, we want to buy what's inexpensive in order to smooth out the whole curve. Because over time, there's such a high correlation between these instruments, but supply and demand is going to give us the opportunity. And that's what traders are really doing. Traders should be waiting patiently in the wings for something to get out of whack. Let's say China comes in and buys a whole bunch of 10-year future contracts. Well, what's going to happen? 10-year future contract is going to get expensive, but it's going to get expensive relative to its neighbors on the yield curve. It's not going to just get expensive. Nothing could just be expensive all by itself. Nothing could ever be inexpensive all by itself. So let me take you to the charts. Let me show you how this trade works on a chart. If it's of interest to you, send me an email, support at Active Day Trader, headline or title bonds, and I'm happy to help. So let's look at a chart. What we're looking at here, this is gonna be tens against 30s. This is gonna be 30s against ultra. And then up top, what this is gonna be, it's gonna be the 30 year butterfly. So it's gonna be 30s against 10s and then 30s against ultra, okay? There's three different futures contracts in this chart. But now watch what we can do. Going back, this is using all of October. All these charts are using the same time frame. Now going back to October, if we just look at the 10 year fly, as kind of like a reversion to the mean. So when it gets out of whack, it's going to come back. When it gets below and inexpensive, it's going to come back. As long as there's not any real big shift in the steepness or the flatness of the overall yield curve. So as an example, when it gets inexpensive, like down here, that's going to be 1015. 1015 is going to be right here. And then 1015 here is going to be right here. So right, if you wanted to take advantage of this trade, you'd want to get long ZB. And at the same time, you'd want to get short tenure and then short ultra. And that's how you're able to take advantage of this chart. And so if I show you that trade broken out in the two spreads, in the two pairs, 1015, We'd want to get long the ZB. So the way that we would do that is first 
we would sell tens, buy 30s, which gets us short this spread. And then what we'd also do is again, this is the butterfly, we wanna buy ZB, we would buy 30s and then sell ultra. You can see here, you're actually gonna end up losing money on this trade. If you hold it, you can break even, but you're gonna make the bulk of your money on this side and therefore take advantage of this up move in the bond fly. Okay, covered a lot. I'm sure it's gonna be a little confusing at, at first. This is exactly what I teach in my bond program, okay? Active day trader bond program teaches you the correct way to trade the yield curve. Interested in learning more, just email me support at active day trader and just use the headline bonds or bond bootcamp, okay? Hope you enjoyed that guys. Jonathan Rose, active day trader.